Geez, uh, the Mortis gods. I, I know I've I've gone blue in the face saying, hey, we're never going to explore Mortis and that in live action. But hey, I can admit when I was wrong. I, I still don't think it's much related to Anakin's Force Ghost and what we saw in this season. But clearly, Dave has plans to fully delve into the, the gods of Mortis, the Mortis gods, all that fun stuff via Balin and leaving Ahsoka and Sabine on Peridia. So that's exciting. I just, how are we going to... How are we going to deal with the Balin stuff? It, it's like a recast. That's the only way. Am I right? Am I right? All right. But anyways, Mortis God's here. We got the father. We got the son. And curiously, the daughter's head is missing and there's a bit of a gap. Why is that? Is this planet out of balance? Uh, and I think this, the Night Sisters kind of worship the sun and whatnot. So is this why they're getting out of here? Is there something sinister still on this planet that Balin doesn't know about, and uh, he is going to unlock. I've been seeing a lot of uh, Abeloth speculation out there, and it, it is sounding more and more like it could be what is known as the Mother was possibly imprisoned on Peridia here, and Balin is, is hearing that, but he thinks he's going to go do something righteous when he's really going to unleash hell upon the galaxy, because from what I know about Abeloth and, and her being the Mother, she just likes chaos and death and that's why she was kind of banished locked up by the father the son and the daughter so some deep stuff there and and who knows where it goes and how much ray's passing will affect it but clearly mortis gods canonized now in live action we even got a very similar shot of balin looking at the, this light on a mountain peak just like anakin saw in the Mortis arc in the Clone Wars. So is he going to try and destroy the Force? Is this the birthplace of the Force? Is he going to go try and, and, and interact with the Mortis gods and get them to change something? Who knows? All fun stuff to think about. Please give us Season 2. Please treat Balin's quest appropriately. Okay, um, continuing on here. A great little egg. There's Morai the Owl. Again, tied to the Mortis stuff, tied to Ahsoka and the daughter, and Ahsoka being resurrected thanks to the daughter's sacrifice. So all this stuff is important and very intriguing. 